Okay guys, back on the transfer table again. Now I've brought some yard lights which I'm going to light the whole area up. Now as you can see, this is what they look like. Now they, they come in two pieces. I get the lights and I get the bar. Now all you got to do is slide the bar up through the first hole and then there's a clip that clips it in and that's it. Now these lights measure the nine inches long to the top of the light or 230 millimeters so all these will be scattered around the layout so I brought these from China they're pretty cheap so not bad for tower lights now that they run on 12 volt or 18 volt and they have a 1k resistor which is pre-built in that's your resistor and two wires so power negative so that's the next part I'm going to do and I'm also going to paint them grey so all these will be grey. Yeah, I'll show you the plan. Okay guys, this is the plan on how to wire up these lights. I'm, well, this is the way I'm going to do it. I'll have an 18 volt wall adapter and I'm going to use a toggle switch. One toggle switch is going to do the whole the whole lot. I might have about six to eight lights on it. Now I'm going to run the wires like a bus line so from one end and right around. I'm using a single pole single throw switch so I've only got the two terminals. And the positive is going to come to the terminal of the toggle. And the other terminal the positive will go right around the layout. Now the wire with the resistor will be joined into the positive wire and the other wire will be the negative which will go right around the layout. So we've got to remember is all the resistor wires will go to the red wire and the other wire will go to the black wire, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's the plan. And hopefully it works. Okay guys, back with the tower lights, or the yard lights. Now I'm using a brass tubing to hold the lights onto the um, baseboard and the plaster. Now this brass rod or tube is 3 16 by 0 0.014 which is one of them oops sorry and what I'm doing as you can see at the end of the lamp post the I'm putting a bit of tubing in which will go into the base and plaster because my base is 19mm and the plaster is 10mm I get 29mm of this light brass hanging onto the, to the timber and the plaster so it shouldn't rock or move because they do give you screws to go into the base of the lamp but they're only about 
12 mil and because my plaster's 10 mil plaster's not going to hold it so I'm going to drill 3 16 holes and slide it through and that should sit on the way out alright so I'll go ahead and drill the holes okay guys I've drilled my first oh, hole she looks like just pushing it because it's such a tight fit that's what she'll look like so I'll go ahead and drill them all in and place them in plus I've also got to solder me other wire to the ends of them so I can join them to me my bus line but that's just I thought I'd just show you how it's gonna sit they're sitting pretty good okay, guys, the brass tube the lights are all in on this part of the transfer table now I forgot to mention before that these lights classified as O scale but they're only O scale because of the height the HO scale lights are smaller in height that's all the <coughs> difference is now originally I was only going to go six lights in that centre area but because I've got a few of them I thought I'd put eight in there and they are also 70 scale feet apart so I've got the two at the front and those eight now all I've got to do is wire them up and also that area there will be having lights as well, but not as many. Probably half a dozen, a couple around the substation. So I thought I'd just okay, show you what it's like. No negative wire on now on the lights, but I can't put the positive yet until under the layout, so the positive I'll have to do under the layout because I can't fit it in the tube. So I'm going to wrap the two negatives together. And I'll solder it. I normally do this twice just to make sure it's stuck. So, also I use a bit of shrink tubing. With a heat gun. And that 
that's it. So as I said, I've got to go under the layout to do this wire. So I'll go ahead and pre-wire all of them. Okay guys, you now if the toggle switch, this is this wire here is the power from the adapter, which has gone into that top terminal. And then on the bottom terminal is the red wire, in this case is my blue wire, and blue is my power. So that will now go all under the layout. And the brown wire is my negative, which will go under the layout. That's me. So these two wires are my bus lines. Now. So that's all ready to be put on the fascia. Then I'll thread the wire through and, and join all the also Otherwise, I'll just to show you how line. connecting the wire underneath the layouts because I'm using the suitcase, suitcase connectors and the wire that's already hanging down the from the lamp post, which is the negative wire, the negative wire will go into the, the top and I'll just squash them down and it will join into both wires and the same with the blue wire which is the power because if you can see these suitcase connectors they have one hole which you can see on the left and the second one just goes in and it butts into a, a stopper and then you just lock them into place That way you might see the stopper, so you can just see one hole. So I've never used these before, so this is the first time. It saves me stripping all the wire underneath the layout. Okay guys, I've so now I've finished the installing the lights. As you can see. I have about five in that area. Now just to show you what it will look like when it's dark, I'll flip the switch. The night and you'll see what a vision is, if you want to call it that. So I don't know how good this camera is at when it's all a bit dark. And as you can see, the lights are on. trying to get some good views for you. This back area, I'm definitely going to add another couple. I want to put one on the other side of the substation and maybe one between the buildings or one or two. But at least you'll get the drift on how it looks like at night time. Flip the switch just so you can see how dark it actually is in here. So thanks for watching guys.